So the last time I showed how to make ghee, we used 8 pounds of Costco butter and I was told that ghee made with Kerrygold butter is so much better, which I don't doubt at all. But I couldn't justify the price just to make some ghee in this economy. But then I remembered that just like David Rose, I too am a girl boss and I could just write it off because it's a write-off, right? So I got the few pounds of butter and I put it in my saucier pan because it has a rounded bottom so nothing will get stuck in the corners. And then it was just 45 minutes of sitting by my stove, watching the butter first melt, then bring up all the foam, then slowly turn golden, and then finally dropping all the milk solids to turn brown and nutty. It's really a calming activity if you have the time. But then you just strain it into some jars and as it cools down, it'll solidify completely and you can store it in your cabinet for a few months and use it for anything because it has a really high smoke point now. And I wish there wasn't a difference in the end result, but this ghee really was so much better. 